Hi, everyone. Oh, hola a todos. I obviously haven't spoken in a second. <laughs> My voice just cracked. Um, I'm going to do this video in English followed by Spanish. Así que voy a hablar primeramente, primero en inglés y después en español. And I just wanted to hop on because my fall semester, new semester is starting next week and my classes are open right now. And I wanted to be able to answer any questions that you might have about my classes and focus a little bit more on my entry level classes, these beginning intermediate classes that I offer. Again, I'll focus, I'll be talking in English first, so I'll be focusing more on my Spanish classes for English speakers who want to learn Spanish. And then I'll switch to Spanish and talk about my English classes that are primarily for native speakers of Spanish who want to learn English. Um, so beginning intermediate Spanish classes. My courses typically take place over eight weeks. And in a semester, we run through two courses of eight weeks. At the middle of the semester, we've got a week break, so you've got a chance to relax and breathe. And hi, Jared. Hola. Um, let me know if you have any questions about classes. I'm here to answer them. Um, so during those eight weeks that we run through twice in the course of one semester with a break in the middle, great chance to review, kind of soak in all that you've learned before the cycle starts again. Over these eight weeks in a beginning intermediate class, we move from a beginning beginner level. So the first class is the most accessible to someone who has had no experience in language before to someone who is still building their foundation. We start at a beginning 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 level and over a course of eight weeks we move to an advanced beginning level. So throughout the course of a semester we do this cycle twice and there's such a good reason for it. It means that every week you're being challenged, every week you have the opportunity to grow and build new language skills and then when you get to go back through this cycle and move again from a beginning level to an advanced beginner level you are able to see how much your experience has changed by already having done it. You're able to get that feeling of going back to the beginning beginner level and going, oh, I'm not a total beginner anymore. I can see where this has become easier. I can see where I have more confidence. And the other thing about it, right, is that we learn language based on repetition. So getting that repetition and getting to go back to a really foundational beginning beginner level and move back up and constantly getting that challenge helps you reinforce what you're more familiar with and helps you always have something new being presented to you as well. So it's this really nice blend and balance. And the other trick with beginning intermediate, I will say this is probably the most confidence building. At every stage, I'm focused on building confidence with my students, but in beginning intermediate, this is the entry level. So this is where students who maybe have never taken a language course before can come in and feel good and comfy about starting their second language journey. And this is also the place where students may not be responding at all and just be listening and taking in the second language and understanding it. And then they may be responding, but they may be responding in their native language, in English, because they're not ready to respond in Spanish yet. And that's perfectly okay. There is no pressure on you to respond in Spanish at any point. You do that when it feels comfortable and natural for you. That's part of removing the stress. And it does not slow you down in your language learning process at all to wait until you're comfortable to start responding in a second language. Um, just to show you that I really walk the walk here, I am learning French as a, a, a third or fourth language right now. And I started taking classes in May, I believe, maybe end of April. And I take a class every week with a, a few weeks off here and there. And I have just now started responding in full sentences in French. Um, and that's just, that was my comfort level. And that was also my language ability level. And that's perfectly fine. It's not slowing down my progress at all. When I wasn't responding, I was just listening. I was maybe indicating yes or no to questions. And then I was just listening to the lesson that was being presented to me, to the stories that were being told. And I was understanding everything I was hearing. And I've been learning French. And now I'm at a point where I can start responding in full sentences. And 
it's really exciting, but it also, it's been a absolute no pressure. I have just absolutely enjoyed everything about my language learning journey in French so far, and that's the exact same thing that I want for you as my Spanish students. So no pressure to respond at all, but by the time you're ready to move out of beginning intermediate, that's where I want you to be confident with the level of language that you have, the level of Spanish that you've acquired. So even if you have still just a basic foundation, but you're confident using what you have, that's about the time we start looking at you moving on to the intermediate level, which by the way, you can do at any time. So with all of my classes, you can decide how long you want to stay at each level, how long you want to stay in a beginning intermediate course, how long you want to stay at an intermediate level before you move up to intermediate advance. I have two years of original content at every level. So you've got plenty of time to stay and hang out. And the last class in this eight week course is always designed as your litmus test so that when you reach the final class, the final week, it's our most advanced class of the course. And if that class feels comfy to you, that's a good indication that you're ready to graduate and move on to the next level. If that class feels very challenging for you and you can't wait to go back and start over at the beginning, beginning level, then perfect, you're in the exact right place. Now, all of my classes, all of my beginning intermediate classes are focused on what we call high frequency vocabulary. So this is a vocabulary that Spanish speakers all around the world actually use with the most frequency on any given day, on a daily basis. This is the vocabulary that gets used in every single conversation that are really the building blocks of language. This is not where textbooks start. Textbooks give you a ton of vocabulary and a little bit of grammar, and they tend to have you memorize vocabulary and theme it according to, you know, things that you'd find in a classroom or th professions or whatever it is. But the thing is, that's not really the vocabulary that you need to know in order to be able to communicate in a second language. So my classes flip that on its head. This is called taking a natural approach, and we don't theme our vocabulary um, and we don't limit our grammar you're getting you're talking in the present tense the past tense that all different tenses all different grammar scenarios are presented to you right away because that's really how we talk that's what you need to know if you're going to be able to use your second language to communicate with other people so you're getting a big grammar exposure, and we're focused on the high frequency vocabulary that actually gets used in everyday conversation. It's really only about 400 words. In beginning intermediate, we may not focus explicitly on every one of those 400 words in every eight week session, but we'll focus on at least 200, about 200 to 300 of those words in every eight week course and if you take multiple eight-week courses, you'll get all of those 400 words. Again, we learn language based on repetition, so you wanna get them all a lot of times. And this is what is going to make it possible for you to understand other people when they're talking, understand signs and things that you would read in the real world and allow you to really communicate with people right away with your new language skills in a second language because we're focused on the vocabulary that you're gonna need every single day we're focused on the building blocks of how you put the language together and we're focused on building your confidence so that you feel good about using the language that you have even when you are at a more beginning level still. All right, let me know if you have any questions about beginning intermediate classes, if there's anything I didn't address. If I think of anything else, I'll add it before the end of the video. And now I'm just going to talk to my English students, native Spanish speakers, a little bit about the same thing. Okay, ahora en español, para mis estudiantes de inglés que hablan español como lengua materna y quieren aprender inglés, yo quiero hablarles, compartir un poco más información sobre mis clases principiantes a intermedios, para estudiantes principiantes intermedios. En estas clases, normalmente un curso es una sesión de ocho clases durante ocho semanas. 
y en un semestre de cinco meses tenemos dos sesiones de ocho semanas y tenemos una semana de descanso en la mitad para repasar las primeras clases para descansar un poco y tenemos por supuesto language coaching durante todo el semestre y en cada sesión de ocho semanas a nivel principal principiante. Es el nivel si no hablas nada de inglés, si no sabes nada de inglés, es el nivel para empezar con el idioma y en ocho semanas movemos a un nivel principiante avanzado. Entonces, cada semana hay algo nuevo. Cada semana es un reto para aprender algo nuevo. Pero también en un semestre, como tenemos dos sesiones de ocho semanas, vas a repetir este, estas sesiones de diseño de moverse de un nivel muy principiante a un nivel más avanzado principiante. Y entonces eso hace dos cosas. Significa que cada semana puedes aprender algo nuevo y que también cuando empezamos otra vez puedes ver la diferencia en tu experiencia. Puedes ver cuánto has aprendido de la primera sesión de ocho semanas y cómo es diferente empezar de nuevo porque no eres principiante, principiante más. Ya estás a un nuevo nivel. Y cuando llegamos a la última clase de ocho semanas, entonces es una prueba también. Si esta clase es muy cómoda para ti, entonces significa que estás listo para moverte a un nivel intermedio. Y si la clase final es todavía un reto y quieres regresar a la primera clase a un, a un nivel más básico, entonces perfecto, estás en la, en el nivel donde debes estar para seguir aprendiendo mucho. También cuando eres un principiante no es necesario hablar y no es necesario hablar en inglés. Tú puedes elegir el momento en que estás listo para responder y cómo vas a responder. Entonces puedes empezar por responderme en español o puedes a responder con solo una o dos palabras en inglés o uh, en inglés como yes o no. Hola, ves, ¿cómo estás? Estoy explicando un poco más sobre mis clases principiantes a intermedios y si tienes cualquier pregunta, por favor, pregúntame. Y cuando estás listo, puedes responder en frases o raciones completas en el idioma que estás aprendiendo en inglés, pero no hay presión, es tu decisión cuándo vas a responder en inglés y cuánto quieres hablar, porque esto no afecta tu aprendizaje, esto no afecta el proceso hasta, uh, de aprender inglés realmente. ¿Qué más? Iba a decir, excelente. Estoy pensando en todo lo que dije en inglés, que quiero decir también en español. Oh, ok, el contento. Uh, la, no, es, es la palabra equivocada. Es contenido. El, uh, el contenido de a uh, mis clases principiantes intermedios, enfocamos en este nivel, enfocamos en el vocabulario uh, que se llama vocabulario de alta frecuencia. Es el vocabulario que los hablantes de inglés usan, utilizan en cada conversación diaria. Es el, el vocabulario que necesitamos para tener conversaciones diarias de cualquier sujeto, pero los, los bloques básicos para construir, para formar frases, oraciones en inglés. Entonces, el vocabulario es más limitado que en un libro de texto o algo. El vocabulario es más limitado a lo esencial que necesitamos para comunicar. 
Pero la gramática no es limitado. No solo vamos a hablar en el presente, porque eso no es real. Eso no es como hablamos en conversaciones reales con nosotros, con nuestros amigos o con personas en el trabajo. Entonces, vamos a enfocar en el vocabulario con toda la gramática inmediatamente que necesitamos para empezar a comunicar con hablantes nativos, con otras personas en inglés. Y también a este nivel estamos formando, estamos, mmm, estamos construyendo, pero estamos, estamos creciendo, estamos creciendo el nivel de confianza también que tienes en tu segundo idioma, porque esto es muy importante. Siempre digo a mis estudiantes cuando quieren moverse a otro nivel o cuando no están muy ciertos a cuál nivel deben estar, yo les pregunto, ¿estás confiado? ¿Estás cierto o te sientes seguro en usar todo el vocabulario que tienes en tu segundo idioma. Puedes hablar con confianza. Y si me dicen no, y muchas veces mis estudiantes me dicen, tengo mucho vocabulario, pero no tengo nada de confianza, no quiero hablar. Entonces yo digo, ok, perfecto, entiendes mucho pero debes estar a un nivel principiante, intermedio, porque vamos a crecer tu confianza en usar, en comunicar en tu segundo idioma. Y eso es muy importante. Puedes saber mucho, pero si no tienes la confianza de usarlo, entonces no importa nada, no importa nada lo que sabes. ¿Verdad? No dije esto en inglés. Debo decir esto en inglés también. Okay, so this is for um, my English speakers who are um, learning Spanish. Also, another thing that, you know, I just realized is so important with, with building that confidence in these beginning intermediate classes is that... Oh, shoot, no, I just lost it. <laughs> is that... Um, What was I saying? It, it, oh, I have a lot of students who come to me and they're not sure what level they should start at. They say, hey, I took some, I took some Spanish in high school. I, I've, I've heard Spanish. My grandmother spoke it. Or, um, you know, I, I, get, I get a little bit of practice at work. I, I understand a lot of Spanish or I have a lot of vocabulary. Like I know random words for things. I have a friend who knows the word for the floor for some reason. And not a lot else. But my next question for them is always, okay, do you feel confident using the level of Spanish, using the level of your second language that you have? Do you feel confident using it? And if the answer is no, which oftentimes it is, oftentimes it's, hey, I have experience, I have vocabulary, but I don't feel comfortable talking. I don't feel comfortable using it. And then I say, perfect you should start in beginning intermediate Spanish because we are going to continue to reinforce all these good language skills you have, but we are going to build your confidence so that you feel really good about using your second language skills. Okay. Uh, vuelvo al español para mis estudiantes de inglés o mis hispanohablantes y estaba hablando de la confianza que es necesario tener es necesario crecer y que enfocamos también en crecer en este nivel principiante a intermedio y a uh, el formato de las clases también el formato es diferente cada semana a veces tenemos clases más conversacionales a veces tenemos clases con una narración, una cuenta, una historia. También yo doy cuentas y narraciones con videos o con fotos. Y uh, normalmente es esto. Cada clase que tenemos estoy presentando mucha información real, personal, auténtico, interesante en el segundo idioma y estoy dando, estoy haciendo muchas preguntas para hacerte pensar sobre tu vida, sobre cómo es relevante para tú, sobre tus respuestas, sobre tu opinión y todo esto. Entonces, 
Si es una narración, todavía es conversacional. Yo hago muchas preguntas, así que puedes empezar a pensar en tu segundo idioma. Y que podemos empezar una conversación cuando tenemos una sesión en vivo, un language coaching session. Ya tenemos preguntas para responder que ya has pensado en tus respuestas para estas preguntas. Y el vocabulario... Lo presento también junto con cada lección y siempre con los videos de las clases. Hay también la presentación que uso para dar la clase, que doy a todos mis estudiantes para su referencia, para imprimir. Y también hay documentos para la clase que suplementan a la clase, a la experiencia de la clase, pero también que contienen muchas opciones para extra práctica. Y eso es esencial, no es necesario, pero es una opción para todos mis estudiantes que cada semana tienen opciones que yo he creado y he dado todos los detalles y son opciones para practicar más con el mismo vocabulario a través de la semana en una manera más independiente antes de que estemos juntos para practicar juntos. Entonces, puedes hacer muchísimo con una clase principiante a intermedio. Avísame, avísame por favor si tienen cualquier cualquier pregunta sobre mis clases de inglés, mis clases principiantes intermedios. Yo estaré en los próximos días también para hablar de mis clases intermedios y mis clases intermedios avanzados, que son diferentes. Ahora voy a terminar en inglés. Ok, so wrapping this up. If you have any questions that I did not address about my beginning intermediate, Um, classes, please be sure to let me know. I did talk a little bit more in Spanish there about the format of the classes, and the format it varies quite a bit. I like to do that so that you stay interested, so that you stay highly engaged, and some of the formats that I utilize the most are story lessons, storytelling lessons, and um, storytelling along with a video, which is called a movie talk, storytelling with pictures, conversational classes and really all of my classes have a conversational element because even if I'm telling a story or talking about photos or anything like that I am always posing questions to allow my students to start to really stay engaged and to start thinking in their second language throughout the course of the class and then before we get together for a live language coaching session You've had a chance to think about those questions, and we've got questions to start our conversation for our group coaching sessions, which can go in any direction from there, but we've got conversation questions to start that you've already had a chance to think about. And you can, of course, ask questions on any of the class material and um, you know, pose different questions, of course. But um, you've also got a few more things, but you've, you've got the chance to, to carry out the conversation that you really learned how to have in the class that week in a live coaching session. So along with class of videos that you get every week where I am presenting a ton of information in your second language that you can understand, engage with, follow along with, I also provide all of my students the presentation that I use in the class videos for the reference so they can print it out if they want. And then I also provide class documents. And so the class documents will also present some of the lesson material, present vocabulary, And they will contain extra practice options that I have laid out specific to each class. So every class comes with extra practice options. And these are huge. They're not necessary. It's extra practice. It's not homework. You don't get graded on it. You can go back and do it anytime you want. But it's a great way for you to get a lot more value out of each class by practicing it independently on your own, making it more personally relevant to you. And of course, we can work on that practice together in our live language coaching sessions as well. I do find that my students that are able to watch the class videos each week, go through the documents and do the extra practice and then meet with me in a language coaching session make absolutely tremendous progress. 
in each session. It's really phenomenal. But not everyone's able to do that. So sometimes I have students that I don't see any extra practice from throughout the entire time and they're still getting, they're still making huge gains in their language just by going through the class videos and meeting with me when they can. They're still making huge, huge progress. So I have a few testimonials that I'll share from students that I'll put up. Um, quickly here, too, I'll put them up on, on my social media pages and I'll put them up on my website from beginning intermediate Spanish students and what they had to say about the course. And I have a wonderful opportunity for you if you are curious about a class, what it's like to learn a second language or to experience a beginning intermediate Spanish class. My master class is now open. It is a three-day class experience going through setting you up all that you need to know to do well with learning a second language, a storytelling lesson where you get to experience how fun and easy it can be and learn some serious new second language skills. And then the third day is a live language coaching session with me. So you get to experience what it's like to be coached by a language coach live. And we'll meet together virtually and we'll meet on Zoom. So I'll be able to hear you, see you, all of that. It's even better than a Facebook live in that way. It's so great for language learning. Um, so that opportunity is now open for both my English and my Spanish students. You can sign up on... Um, I'll put the link in the comments for this video. You can go to my website and sign up. Um, and the masterclass is taking place this week. So as soon as you sign up, you'll get started with class number one, class number two, and our third day, the live class is going to be on Saturday. Okay. Let me know if you have any questions. Now I'm gonna finish because I just added more information in Spanish. <laughs> okay, así que para mis hispanohablantes yo añadí un poco más de información y esto es la oportunidad de experimentar para ti mismo, ti misma, mis clases principiantes e intermedios. Tengo mi clase magistral que está abierta ahorita para inscripción y esta, esta semana es una experiencia, una clase de tres días. En, la primera, en el primer día vamos a, a, voy a darte toda la información, todo lo que necesitas saber para lograr tu meta, para alcanzar el nivel de, de fluidez en un segundo idioma que quieres. Entonces, es una clase totalmente en español para darte toda la información que necesitas para tener éxito. La segunda, eh, la segunda clase, el segundo día, es una clase de inglés, es una narración y puedes experimentar cuán fácil y divertido y efect efect efectivo es aprender un segundo idioma, aprender el inglés en esta manera. Y el tercer día es una sesión en vivo conmigo. Y toda esta experiencia es gratuita. No hay costo para la clase magistral. Entonces es una buena oportunidad para aprender algo nuevo en inglés, para trabajar conmigo y para mejorar tu no solo tu inglés, pero tu confianza también. Entonces, voy a poner el enlace para inscribir en los comentarios de este video. También puedes inscribirte en mi sitio de red. Y espero verte. La clase magistral es esta semana antes de que mis clases con el nuevo semestre empiecen. Entonces, empezarán la próxima semana. Entonces, uh, el primer... Puedes inscribirte y empezar con la primera clase en cualquier momento y el segundo día, el, la segunda clase y el tercer día, la sesión en vivo será este sábado conmigo. Entonces, no te lo pierdas. Ok. Si tienen cualquier preguntas para mí, por favor, pregúntenme. Let me know if you have any questions I didn't ask about beginning intermediate Spanish. And I look forward to seeing you in class. Nos vemos en la clase. Adiós. Hasta luego.